All right, sorry about that. So this is actually a post recording session of what's going on in this game over here. Uh, just because I had some technical issues and could not actually record myself, unfortunately. Um, so the way how really this battle is going to play out is, um, uh, so I, I kind of leave a rhetorical over here because my mindset is, you know, again, drought, sunlight, that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And I decided to set the self rock first because it has, you know, always, always, always good to have those set up as well. And at this point, I'm just going to try to deal as much damage as possible to this view because it did go bad nasty plot. So the way my mindset is right now is, my mindset right now is telling me to just deal more and more damage to it. I'll start for the quick edit right there on my end. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's taking Jakey so long. Over here? Okay, yeah, so... It's not going to deal that much damage to me. I'm very bulky, so obviously you got to keep in mind as well that it goes up against your physical defense when you use a move like... Um, I'm sorry. I'm like really trying to figure out how to kind of make this look nice enough, I guess. That makes sense. Uh, that might be better. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. Yeah, it's a little bit better. You can still see the name a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Right, so then, like I said, at this point, yeah, nothing else I can really do here against the Mew, and Torkoal just kind of goes down. And then, so next up, why is I, I'm like really in a deep thought right now, but uh, I'm like, no, Cinderace can come in here. We could go use the Sucker Punch here to then obviously get the, uh, yeah, you know, like like the priority hit and knock out this Mew immediately because a nasty plot is set Mew with Scythe. A special attack increased Scythe, anyways, is always dangerous. And for some reason, I thought like I thought the move build first, but I forgot because Libero changes your ability whenever you use a certain type of move. So <laughs> and that takes the uh, Mew out. But now since I'm stuck as a dark type, so I gotta keep that in mind as well, I'm not a dark type uh, Cinderace anyways at this point. Uh, I think really what we do next is um, you know, a lot of deep thoughts. That that's really uh, that's the name of the game a lot of the time and everything, so I'm just gonna talk about it real quick. Uh, I actually did not have a mouse for a couple of days, so my entire recording was done through my keyboard. For this, for this battle, so that's why I only have that's I'm doing post recording gameplay and everything because my mic was my mic was muted, so I had no chance of being able to play that going on. And then up against Remy, who was the uh, what was Remy actually? Oh, the the Palmer. right, right. So up against the Palmer right now, I decided to send in Skeletor because I was anticipating a fighting type move here. Because obviously Libero changed it to a fighting type, and there you go, there's that close combat right there, so that's why I did the swap that I did. And after that, my next my next headspace is I think he's gonna swap here, so let me go for a torch song here instead. And obviously he doesn't, so I'm like, that's that's still uh that's still fine everything as well because torch song is going to deal good damage and everything and to give me a, a special attack increase as well so one thing with like skeleton dirge that i really didn't think about i guess was how the ability of unaware could really be more beneficial to you in uh actual battling and everything i guess then we learn something new every day apparently and hopefully this video comes does not come out very uh choppy or anything like that Okay, so like, he goes for the nuzzle here, so with the um, nuzzle anyways, he ends up uh, obviously you know, paralyzing me and everything. Or, yeah, ends up paralyzing me. So now, uh, it's not a matter what, I may have a chance of not missing a hit. <laughs> Which, again, it, it's fine, it's fine, it is what it is. And following up with that, he sends out a uh, Baloo, who is his... Ursaluna. So Ursaluna Blood Moon Form. So its ability is able to um bypass by ghost type. So that's one thing you might as well is that like there's a chance that it can bypass my ghost type. It, it could bypass my ghost type and everything. And with me being paralyzed, I'm like, you know, I probably am gonna go down to this thing. With that, even with a plus two, even though having a plus two special attack is a good thing to have. That paralysis right there is a little bit of a hindrance as well. I'd rather not take that risk. And we're just gonna move away. 
I'm just gonna move myself up a little bit more than I actually mess around with this a little bit more. <laughs> I'm not doing this right now, but oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, there we go. That looks better. That looks much better. Okay, so that's. I'm very happy I did swap out there then because it did use the uh, earth power. And so right now I'm like, I'm being, do I go for a fire punch or do I go for a Perceptio Blade? So I'm like, okay, fire punch is probably going to be the better move here. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a uh, option burn, which didn't happen, and I thought in the moonlight, I thought moonlight was impacted by the sun. I didn't realize you actually get more health back in the moonlight. So at this point, uh, Groudon really can't do really that much. <laughs> And of course, like I said, Ursula, Blood Moon Ursluna is a special attacking set, so that's why uh, Call of Mine over here kind of get me a little freaked out. So I'm like, let me, let me, I feel like I could survive one more hit, so let me go for a Sword Stance here to raise up my attack. And, which is great because it goes for another um, Moonlight here as well. I think he was probably anticipating me uh, going for another Perceptual Blades, which, I mean, hey, me paid off for sure. So Perceptual Blades hits. And that barely, it still survives somehow. But first, the Blood Moon here does take out the yeah, Blood Moon here does take out the ground on and everything. So we're following that up with. What, is, what do we follow up here with? I keep my eyes at this point now, I lost all the sunlight I have. <laughs> so none of my Pokemon have sunlight still. And I don't know why I've. Oh yeah, no, this is the way mindset now. I'm like, okay, let me try burning the uh Skeletor, or the uh the Blood Moon or Saluna here. Cause I, I don't know why I thought why would I wait, why would I actually want to burn the Blood Moon or Saluna? It is a special set. I don't know, I, I guess you know, post headspace uh game reviews is really saying otherwise in this regard. But um Okay, yep. So that's it. Okay, yeah, so the burn does take off and everything. But obviously the burn doesn't really it doesn't really make a difference though either, because it's also normal type, so I can't even use hex on it to take advantage of that typing either. Yeah, this this definitely goes on for a little bit, I will say that. This part of the battle really did drag on a little bit with the uh, constant healings and everything as well. I I'm pretty sure the only reason why I was able to take it out. I think it was a crit that happened? I think it was a crit or like a post burn that like took it out, I think. I think that's what happened here. Um, yeah. Cause I don't even know if he knows though, I guess, either that like... Uh, even with the Calm Minds and everything, I have unburdened, or unaware, excuse me, for the ability. So even if, okay, yep, yeah, this, there we go, yeah, so that special, yeah, so those special tag increases happened and then Skeletored. The burn almost finishes off here, and with me having um, unaware, it doesn't like any stat changes on the opposing Pokemon takes no effect either. Okay, yeah, so now I have a plus three special. Back to being a plus three special attacking a uh, Skeletor set, which is great. But the only issue is though is that again I'm paralyzed, so I have still have a chance of you know. Feeling an attack for that reason. But next up is he sends out his uh, Jiminy, his Gengar. So I'm like, okay, let me just, you know, not, not, nothing I can really do. Let me just go right into a Torch Song here, which, again, I don't know why I went for Torch Song and not the uh, Hex, but okay. Because, <laughs> like, either, either way, though, I mean, like, the Gengar is still going to be, um... oh my gosh. Gengar is still going to be faster than me anyway, so. Yeah, like there was no, I, I maybe could have survived if I invested more into special defense maybe, but I don't really know either. And this is where I, this is a really proud moment of my stuff right here, so. And so I bring out the Armor Rouge over here, because I have a Terra Grass type Armor Rouge. So I know like his head space is going to be like, okay, cool, let me go for, you know, the ghost type, let me go for another Shadow Ball here. So that's why I decide to bait it out for that and go for the Grass Terra here because that's going to uh, allow me to 
Uh, yeah, allow me to run to gra grass type. Excuse me. Uh, grass type tear up. And with that, we got ourselves a nice little handy grass right there and everything. We're going to be getting neutral damage dealt to us from Shadow, Shadow Ball, which obviously that didn't happen really either. So I just side shocked right here. And that is going to take out the Gengar. It's like, I will say, a lot of this battle was really like a back and forth between the two of us. There, There's no question about that one, yeah? Yeah, so the uh, next up comes is uh, Tornadus and everything. So, so let me just go with my most powerful attack I have. Yeah, and the Bleak Wind Storm. So like, that's like it's a like signature move that came out in Arceus Mist. And everything. Barely survives it, so... Obviously, I'm like, I'm like in a case right now where like, if this thing, if it hits me, it hits me and I can't obviously do anything about it. Yep, Bleak Wind Storm is going to hit me, and that's obviously going to take me out as well, because it's also super effective, because uh, I'm a Grass-type at the moment due to the Terra. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Uh, I think, like, two students... Oh, yeah, I compare speed stats. You see, like, what out speed. So I'm like, okay, both the out speed anyways, but I'm just going to go for the Cinderace here. <laughs> Everything. So I know it's going to be off speed this game. That's, that's a gift. And I was like looking at the other his other Pokemon as well what he has. Cause I'm like, what do I do here? Like what's the best move of action here? Cause I don't wanna obviously whatever move I use here, I'm gonna lock myself into whatever type it is, and I'm like, okay. I think the shadow punch or sucker sucker punch here is gonna be the better move for sure. Oh wait, oh wait, no, 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 sorry, no, I forgot. I I did not have to be the tornado, so that's why I went for the sucker punch that I wanted to make sure I was able to take it out. I'm taking that risk right now, obviously, with the palm boat being a thing as well. But say he sends out his uh, Snorlax here. Uh, okay. Oh, there's also something on my, on my monitor screen for some reason. And that's why I'm like thinking to myself, like, okay, do I do I go for the Pyro Ball or do I go for the uh, Acrobatics here? And obviously, I went for the Pyro Ball. I think he does Terra here. I think I think no 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 he doesn't Terra here. Never mind. Yeah okay yeah, so I go for the sorry I know it's not as entertaining doing a post recording commentary versus the actual battle itself. Um. Yeah so this one I'm like I'm like okay peace oh, okay I'm just gonna U-turn out of here. And bring out the bring out the Venusaur. Venusaur is very bulky as is, so I'm not as uh, you know. Uh, I'm not opposed to that really either. And with it going for curses here, it's going it's giving me a good opportunity as well because I'm a obviously you know special. This is a special attacking Venusaur set. So I was debating, like, like, is he going to go for another curse, or is he going to go for an actual attacking move here? So let me just start doing some moves on it. And I was not, I will say right now, I was not expecting the heat crash, but living on three health was big. I, this is where I was kind of like, I wish I had a, um, overgrowth set instead of a, uh, uh, oh yeah, not overgrowth set, a, um, yeah, it's kind of really wish I was like, I, you know, I wish I had an overgrowth set instead of the, uh, Chlorophyll set because obviously sun's not out right now and everything. So Venusaur does go down. And then this is where it really gets like really, you know, down to the wire, obviously, because I have Cinderace still. Cinderace is back to being a fire type Pokemon. So now I have to figure out what's the best course of action here for like what I have left. And so in my head I'm like, okay, I know he still has the Palmo left as well. Who is an electric flying type or electric fighting type? Excuse me. And it's like actually, I don't know why I'm like pause like this though. <laughs> I, I really don't know, but uh, but yeah, basically what happens here 
is um Masuda's bad wants to continue and everything as well. Why did I step away like that? I don't know. Yeah, so, so I'm like, okay, let me take okay, I'm gonna take the risk here because Agbax can deal the most damage no matter what. So I'm like, even with the Palmo being part being electric, it's still also fighting type as well. So it takes out the Snorlax, I'm locked into being a fight a flying type here. And it's when I realized, um This is when I kind of realized actually this in the moment and everything as well. That um Something wasn't right here. Something was not right here. And I realized that the second click the acrobatics were like, wait, he hasn't tear up yet. So I don't know. So I was, I was like, like, I'm like, okay, well he hasn't teared yet, so this is exactly what I'm gonna have to do here. Hoping for it to not be an electric type Terra. And of course, I said no, he tears here. My only hope was like no no electric terra, no electric terra, no electric terra. So again, I don't know if I'd be able to take out if it's electric type terra, and it's electric type terra. Um, but that being said though, okay, you know, I'm gonna go with my most powerful tech, Acrobatics. Somehow still pull it off, and we get the win in the end anyway. So I know I already messaged Jakey already as well after the game, but again, great battle, GG's. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for next week's battle. Thanks so much for watching and take care.